ओम सांग सरस्वती नम नमस्ते Uh, tonight we're going to perform a second puja to Ganesh on page 321. We greeted Ganesh first. He was pratham puja. He was the first to be worshipped, and then we did his puja again uh, during the worship before the punya havachan, before all the other gods and goddesses were worshipped. And now, at the end of the puja, we're going to say, "Hey, you opened the door for us. You allowed us in. You allowed us to do our worship. And now, thank you for protecting this door as we're about to exit. So we want to say thanks to you." <laughs> It's very similar to reciting the Shabdwara mantras before you sing the chandi and after you sing the chandi. Because if you, re, re, you remove the curses from the chandi before you open the door and after you open the door, after you close the door, so that the you, the the door is well protected, we want to keep the door protected. It's a very special, secret place. It's a hidden place. It's a beloved place. So Ganesh stands at the door, and he protects us. Let's worship together on page three hundred twenty-one. Om Kar Bangs Du Latanung Gajendra Badanam Lambo the Ramson the Ram Pasyantan Madha Ganda Lubda Madhu Pabyalo La Ganda Stalam Danta Gata Bidari Tari Rudir Hir Sindhu Rashoba Karam. Bande se la sita sita, Ganapati sitting pradam kamadam. Om gam Ganapata ki namaha. Om gam angusta bhangama. Om ging tarjani bhangsva. Om gum madhava bhangboshat. Om gang anamika bhangum. Om gong kanishti ka bhangboshat. Om ka karoto kapristi bhangaskaya. Om gam Ganeshaya namaha. Om Gangri da Kai da Mo, Om Ging Sira Se Swa, Om Gum Shikaya Ki Bhushat, Om Gang Kapachaya Hum, Om Gum Netra Ta Kai Bhushat, Om Gakro Ta Kaprista Bhang Gastraya Pat, Om Gam Ganeshaya Namaha. And this is usually where I perform Japa. So at least one mala, Om Gam Ganeshaya Namaha, or Om Gam Ganapataya Namaha, Ganesh. Is Gana Isha, the supreme lord of the Gana, the multitudes of the wisdom, and Gana Pati is the Pati, the supreme lord of the Gana, or the wisdom, or the multitudes. So they both have the same meaning. They are interchangeable in your worship of Ganesh.、Uh, Gana Pati and Ganesh are both the supreme lord of the of wisdom and the supreme lord of the multitudes. Bakrunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Abhignan Kuru Medeva Sarva Karyeshu Sarvada Ekadanta Mahakaya Lambo Dram Gajana Nam Vidna Nasha Karam Deva He Rambam Pranamam Yam. Malikati Sugandini, Malitya Dini Be Prabhu, My Hari Tari Pujartam, Pushpani Pratigriyatam, Ete Gande Pushpe, Om Gam Ganapatae Namaha. And then we worship Kamakya in deference to our beloved Sri Ma, and that's her place. And you know, in the Devi Gita, it says of all the places of pilgrimage pertaining to the goddess, the Divine Mother, there is none to compare like、uh, with Kamakya. And I too attest uh, uh, that it, Kamakya is really a special place. Om Kamakye Bishwajananin Karotu Tapamangalam Kamamoksha Pradey Devi Satatam Siddhi Dabava Om Kamakye Bharadey Devi Nila Parvata Nivasini Tuam Devi Jagatamatar Yoni Mudra Namo Astute And there are two forms of the Yoni Mudra that we show to her. We had the first one and the second one. We discussed this during the. Gayatri Vidhi. 
Uh, so, can you see that? That's Aoni Mudra, and that's Aoni Mudra. There are two forms. If you have questions about the Yoni Mudra, we'll take a series of special photographs and post them on the on the, our Mudra section. Om Hrim Kamakya Devyarki Namaha. And now we're going to offer Surya an Orgya. And uh, I use for my daily Orgya, very, very cheap Orgya, <laughs> comprised of water from the Samanyarga and a little bit of black sesame seeds. And you can offer orgia to the sun with just plain water or water and sesame seeds, or you can make a full-fledged orgia as we discussed in the orgia offering. There's a vishesh orgia and the, the arpan orgia in the naivetya section. Om Adityaya Bidmake, Martandaya Dimaki, Tano Surya Prachodoyad, Om Japakusuma Sankasham, Kashyapeyam Mahadyutim, Tomoring Sarapapagdam, Panatuas Bidibakaram. And here is where I take uh, my shru uh, Shruva or uh, uh, my uh, uh, Koshi. And I say, Om Namo Bibasvate Brahman, Baswate Vishnu Tejase, Jagat Savitre Suchaye, Savitre Karmadayane, Idam Argyam, Om Sri Surja Devaya Namaha. And I put that water right on the flower, which is on the antra. Uh, so, that's how we make the offering of the orgya when we're in the temple, unless you like to spill water on the floor or something like that. Now we're going to make tarpon for the gurus and the ancestors. Om Kurukshetra Gaya Ganga Prabhase Pushkarani Cha Yadirdani Prachapunyani Tarpakali Bhavanti Cha Yamaya Dharma Rajaka Mritive Chantakaya Cha Vai Vasvataya Kalaka Sarva Bhutakshakaya Cha Arumbaraya Tadnaya Nilaya Parabhishtine Vrikodaraya Chitraya Chitragup Kaya Tinamaha And I take the same Kosa Koshi, the Koshi, and from the Kosha, and I make Om Devang Tarpigami, and a couple of drops just on the on the center flower on the Yantra. Om Rishing Tarpigami, Om Pitring Tarpigami. Om Pita Svarga Pita Dharma Pita Gi Paramantapa Pitari Priti Matrane Priyante Sarva Devata Ashishome Pradyantam Pitara Marudamaya Padasantanta Yonidyam Vardatam Badabamapa and I often make Petri Charanabios Pushpanjali Samarpayami and I offer them flowers at the same time as I ask for their blessings and then I take the Kosa Kosi again and say Om Gurungs Tarpegami Om Parama Gurungs Tarpegami Om Parapara Gurung Tarpegami Om Parameshti Gurung Tarpegami And Guru Tarpan leads us to Guru Puja Akanda Mandala Karam Pyatam Yena Characharam Tatpadam Dashi Dangena Tasmi Sri Gurube Nama Dhyanamulang Guru Murti And I take a flower and show it to my guru here, the center of my worship. And the flower goes to her face, Dhyanamulang Guru Murti Puja Mulang Guru Padam at her feet Mantra Mulang Guru Bakyang in my mouth Moksha Mulang Guru Kripa And I give that flower to my guru and I give it to Ramakrishna. Um, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Makeshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, 
Tasmay, Sri Gedabe Nama, Ete Gande Poshpe Om, Sri Gedabe Nama, and worship Ramakrishna, Om Stapakaya Chadarmasya, Sarva Dharma Swarupi Name, Avatara Parishtaya, Ramakrishna Yate Namaka, Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramakrishna Yanamo Namaha. And if you like, Mantra Pushpanjali Samarpayami and give him the flowers. And now Sarada Devi, Om Jananin Saradam Devi, Ramakrishna Jagad Guru, Pada Padme Tayo Shri Twa, Pranamami Mapur Maku, Om Shri Sarada Devi Namaha. And if you choose Mantra Pushpanjali Samarpakami Shrima Om Sanatani Maya Bidamake Gan Prakashaya Dimake Tano Shrima Prachodaya That if you'd like Etiganda Pushpe Om Shri Sanatani Maya Namaha And worship the great ego I usually take the flower and put it on my head Om Makisha Sura Boraha Beer, Sadra Rishta Vinasana, Devagri Harchitobakya, Pujan Righa Prasida May, Mahisha Twa Makasura, Indra Di Deva Marita, Divyastra Tarita Bupa, Gata Hasha Gacha Hasmar Gandamo as today, Oh Mahisha Suraya Namaha, Mantra Pushpanjali Samarpayami. <laughs> and now worship the lion, Dharma. Om Singatwam Sarvajantunam Adiposi Makabala Parvati Bahanam Sriman Spuram Devi Namostute Asanam Chasi Bhutanam Nana Lankara Bhushitam Miru Sringa Pratikasham Singasanam Namo was today Vajranam Kandan Strayudaya Maha Singaya Humphat Namaha A wonderful time to give flowers and it's a wonderful mantra Vajra Dang Nakam Dangstra Yudaya Mahasingaya Humphat Namaha Bajram Dang Tang Dang Strayutaya Mahasingaya Humphat Namaha And offer Pushpanjali Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvarta Sadike Saranitambake Gauri Narayani Namos today Srishti Stiti Vidasanam Sati Bhute Sanatani Gunashraye Gunamaye Narayani Namos today Sharanagata Dinartha Puritrana Parayane Sarvashyarti Yare Devi Narayani Namos today and then we make pranam. Durgam Shivam Santi Karim Brahmanin Brahmana Prikam Sarva Loka Pranitrincha Pranamami Sada Shivam Mangalam Shobanam Shuddam Nishkalam Paramam Kalam Vishweshwarin Vishwamatam Chandikam Pranamami Am Sarva Deva Mahin Devin Sarva Roka Boyapakam Pramesha Vishnu Namitam Pranamami Sadasibam Vindyastam Vindyanilayam Divyastanam Nibasinim Yoginim Yoga Jananim Chandikam Pranamami Am Ishan Mataram Devin Ishwarim Ishwarapriyam Pranato as me sadadurgam, sansaranabatarinim. O Mahadeva Mahatrana, Mahayogi Makeshwara, Sarva Papa Haram Deva, Makaraya Namo Nama, Om Namashivaya Santaya, Karnanatraya Ketave, Nivedaya Mechatmanam. Pangati Parameshwara Om Namah Shivayam 
And then when the pujas are completed for the day, or if you have people for whom you are worshipping, or who you are guiding in worship, you'll want to share a blessing. Raise your hands in blessing. Om Sri Barchaspam Ayushyam Arogyam Abhidat Pabamanam Vitiyate Dhanam Dhanam Pashumbahu Pudram Labam Shatasambhataram Dirgamayu Mantrata Sapala Shantu Purna Santu Manoratha Shatrunam Buddhi Nasho Astu Mitramudayastava Ayushkamo Yashashkamo Putra Potrasta Devacha Arogyam Dhanakamascha Sarve Kama Bhavam Dume And that's our blessing. In the evening, when all the work is completed, we will make visarjan. So in the same way we will make visarjan of the yantra flower, we make the same visarjan of the koilashtapan, or the gut, the pot. Uh, we also use the same padoti for making visarjan of the fire. So... Ite purva prana pudi deha dharma dikarato jagrat svapna shushupta sya dvastas tu manasa bacha karmana kastabhyam pabhyam udarine shisa yat pritam yat yuktam yat sritam tat sarvam pramarpanam bhavatu svaha Mamadiyam chasakalam sri chandrika charane samarpakate Oh, that sat. Now the Visarjan Mudra, we take uh, three small fingers on both hands and interlace them. And then we turn them upside down and reach over and grab the flower and bring it back and put it back in our heart. We brought it from our heart, we take it from our heart, and then we throw it away. Om Brahmar Padam, Brahma Hobir, Brahma Agnau, Brahma Nakutam, Brahma Evatena Kantabyam, Brahma Karma Samadina, Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat Purnamadachyate, Purnashya Purnamadaya, Purname Baba Shishyate, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shamashwa. And that's the completion of the cosmic puja. Let's go back to page 321. Uh, 320, excuse me, and begin with the worship of Lord Ganesh. Oh, we meditate on that perfect consciousness. We contemplate the one with a broken tooth. May that one with a great tusk grant us increase. He was destined to be a Kadant. And so uh, there are two versions of the story. One says that Purusharam cut off his tooth, and the other says that Shani cut off his tooth. Uh, in any event, he only has one tooth. With these scented flowers, Om, we bow to the Lord of Wisdom, the Lord of Multitudes. Om Ganesh, the Lord of Wisdom, is short of stout body with the face of the king of elephants and a big belly and is extremely beautiful. From whom pours forth an ethereal fluid, the sweet fragrance of which is captivated with love the bees that are swarming his cheeks. With the blows of his tusks, he pierces his enemies, all enemies, and he is beautified by red vermilion. We bow with praise to the son of the daughter of the mountains, Parvati, the daughter of Himalayas, the lord of the multitudes, the giver of perfection and of perfection of, of all desires. And so he makes all desires perfect. So it's real interesting how Saraswati gives us the desire and Ganesh removes all obstacles to its attainment. 
Oh, we bow to Ganesh, the Lord of Wisdom, Lord of the multitudes. Om oh, Gong in the thumb, I bow. Om oh, Ging in the forefinger, I am one with God. Om oh, Gung in the middle finger, purify. Om oh, Gang in the ring finger, cut the ego. Om oh, Gom in the little finger, ultimate purity. And Om oh, Ga, roll hand over hand, front and back, and clap with the weapon of virtue. <laughs> Om Gam Ganesh Sayadama. Om we bow to Ganesh, the Lord of Wisdom, the Lord of the multitudes. Om Gong in the heart I bow. Om Ging on the top of the head I'm one with God. Om Gung on the back of the head purify. Om Gang crossing both arms purify. Om uh, cut the ego. Om Gong in the three eyes ultimate purity. Om Gok roll hand over hand front and back and clap with the weapon of virtue. Um, we bow to Ganesh, the Lord of Wisdom, Lord of the Multitudes. With a broken or bent tusk, two interpretations, a great body shining like a million suns, make us free from all obstacles, O God, always remain with us in all actions. With one tooth, a great body, a big belly, and an elephant's face. He is the God who destroys all obstacles to whom we are bowing down with devotion. Various flowers such as Malika and others of excellent scent are being offered to you, O our Lord. All these flowers have come from the devotion of our hearts for your worship. Please accept them. Oh, with, these offer, with these scented flowers, oh, we bow to the Lord of wisdom, the Lord of the multitudes. And now the goddess Kamakya. O Kamakya, mother of the universe, bring welfare to all, give liberation from desires. O goddess, always give the attainment of perfection. O Kamakya, O goddess, give boons. You who reside in the blue mountain, you are the goddess who is the mother of the universe. You are the form of the female genital. I bow to you. Yoni Mudra, in the form of the yoni, which gives birth to, the, to all creation, to all existence. It's Brahma yoni, the, the womb of creation. And we are bowing to you. Kamakya, who has the eyes to perceive beyond desire. Uh, Om, I bow to the goddess Kamakya. Om, we meditate on the son of Auditi, who is one without a second. We contemplate he who embodies light. May that light of divine wisdom give us increase. Om, with the redness of the hibiscus flower, O son of Kashyap of great splendor, remover of the darkness of all sin, I bow in devotion to you, O radiator of light. Uh, so here, Kashyap, uh, you are the the uh, you, you are as bright as a, a, a hibiscus flower. You come as a, when you the sun rises on the horizon in the morning so, uh, in the morning uh, uh, dawn. You see the sun as a red fiery ball, just like a hibiscus flower. And at that time, we face the east and greet the sun. A radiator of light, I bow in devotion to you. Oh, my bow in devotion to he whose own self is the universe, infinite consciousness, whose own self shines, the light of universal consciousness, to the light of the worlds, to the one who indicates or shows, to the bearer of light who gives all karma, you indicate, you, you uh, illuminate, you display, you, you awaken all creation to uh, uh, activity. And we bow to you. And now we're going to bow to our gurus and to our ancestors who have taught us how to worship and how to lead lives of worship and how to incorporate worship into our daily life so that it's not an exercise that we perform but it's part, an intrinsic part of our life. It becomes as natural to us, uh, the forms of worship become as natural to us as all the other functions that we perform in life. So that after some time, it's impossible to distinguish what is my activity for the world and what is the, my activity for worship. It's all one. <laughs> I only have worldly activities in my mind. I have spiritual activities in my heart. And if I do what I do with spirit, with heart, I'm a spiritual person. I'm not doing spiritual practices. 
I am living a spiritual life. Om Kurukshetra, Gaya, Ganga, Prabhas, and Pushkar. Uh, uh, Prabhas is, a, is another name for uh, uh, the area of Somnath in Gujarat. Uh, these are the meritorious places of pilgrimage that are to be remembered at the time of offering to ancestors. I bow to Jam, the king of Dharma, to death to the inner being, to he who is the universe, to time, to he who causes the destruction of all existence. You know what? Buddha wasn't the first one to say, to, to exhort us to contemplate the time of our death. We were, we were thinking about what will be my fate at death many, many millennium before Buddha came and pronounced, meditate upon what your death will be. So here we were incorporating, we incorporate death in our puja. And we don't fear him, we respect him and appreciate him. To he who lives under the Undambar tree, to the giver, to the dark one, to the supreme amongst the desired ones, to the hidden one, to the varied one, to the hidden among the varied ones, I bow. And he's Chitragupta. He's the one who keeps the records. He's the accountant. Uh, mother used to sing a very beautiful song, Kate Hejan Se Mahajan. The guy who's writing the, the accounts. He's the great accountant. Uh, don't go to a measly bookkeeper. <laughs> go to the great accountant because he has all the accounts. The bookkeeper uh, just keeps financial records. <laughs> Om, I make offerings to the gods, that's Tarpon. I make offerings to the rishis, to the seers. I make offerings to the ancestors. Om, my ancestors are my heaven. My ancestors are my dharma. My ancestors are my highest tapas. If my ancestors are satisfied, all the gods will be satisfied. And don't think you can satisfy the gods without satisfying the ancestors. It's not possible. We have a dharma, an ideal of perfection. We have to pay off our debts. We have three debts of karma, a debt to the gods, which we discharge by making this world a better place because of our having been here, a debt to our ancestors which we discharge by respecting the elderly the way we will want to be respected when we're old and by nurturing the next generation the way we want this world to become and we have a debt of karma to the gurus which we discharge by living in accordance with their wisdom. So we want to discharge our debts to our ancestors and to our families and to put them in the highest harmony and the greatest comfort and peace, but that doesn't mean that they will define dharma for us. That means that we will go to all extremes that we can to put them in the highest harmony and comfort and peace according to our capabilities, but each individual has his or her own definition of dharma and we must follow our dharma we must be true to our dharma very delicate balance to maintain for many people Om, O oh, compassionate ancestors, bless me. Always speak words of peace to me and release me from all bondage. May I pay off, pay off my debts. May I expunge all debts from my life and when I leave, I will be liberated because I have no debt. I have no bond. I'm free to go. Om Gurum Starpayami, I bow to my guru with the offering of respect. Om, I bow to my guru's guru with the offering of respect. I, om, I bow to my guru's guru's guru with the offering of respect. 
and om I bow to the first guru with the offering of respect. Remember it when we started this puja, we said, hey guru, please be with me. Om Guru Vyondama, Om Param Guru Vyondama, Om Parapara Guru Vyondama, Om Parameshti Guru Vyondama, Om Ganganesha Yondama. And I, now I'm saying, hey, I'm bowing to you with the offering of respect and I'm remembering you and I'm making an offering in your name because look what you taught me. Look at the example that I'm following. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to have such a concept uh, of a way of life. I appreciate you. Your presence in my life is irreplaceable. What would my life be if the guru hadn't shown me what, what it meant to worship? And how do you do it? I'm going to do more puja worship to the guru. Om the guru shows the universality of the entire creation, which is, in, dis, which is distinguished by movable and immovable objects. Therefore, we bow down to the respected guru. So here he shows all of creation. How do you become one with creation which moves and does not move? Tasmi Sri Gurave Namaha. The root of meditation is the image of the guru and I look at my guru and I can meditate on that form. The root of worship is at the feet of the guru. Where else would I learn how to, how to worship, how to meditate? If I didn't sit at her feet and study and observe and, and practice my own, employing those techniques into my own life, I would never learn. I have to sit at her feet in order to learn. The root of mantra is the word of the guru, and please be on my tongue and let you speak through me. And the root of self-realization is the grace of the guru. And guru kripa, and remember, kri means do, and pa means get. So the grace of the guru is you're doing and you're getting. And you're doing what the example before you did, so you're going to get you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Just like she did. The same way she got it. You're going to get it. That's the kripa. The grace of the guru. The guru, the dispeller of darkness, is Brahma. The creative consciousness, the guru, the dispeller of darkness. Remember, gu karas twanda karas cha, ru karas tejas uchate. The, the guru is the dispeller of darkness. The gu is the darkness and ru takes away or gives us the illumination. The guru, of dar or the guru, the dispeller of darkness, is Vishnu, the all-pervading consciousness. The guru, the dispeller of darkness, is the Lord Maheshwara, that's Shiva, the great seer of all, Mahan Isha, Wara, the great seer of all, or, or great ruler of all. The guru is indeed the supreme divinity, and therefore we bow down to the guru. Now that means my guru is, is divine and that means Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva are actually my guru. And my guru is the reflection of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. And therefore I bow down to my guru and therefore my guru takes me. The very fact that I offer sincere devotion to my guru uh, propels me to make the journey. It compels me to make the journey and it propels me to make the journey. That is my strength. Every time you bow down, you get a blessing. Let me stop right here for one moment. It was the battle of Kurukshetra. The Kauravas and the, Kur and the Pandavas were lined up. There were millions of soldiers, arms ready. Everyone, every, they blew the conch shells and it's just about to start the war. And... Yudhisthira got down from his chariot and he walked across the battlefield and he walked right up unarmed with no fear at all he walked right up to Bhishma who was the commander in chief of the armies of Durjadan his arch enemy and he bowed down to Bhishma and he said please bless me that I can make you proud that you were my grandfather. 
that I lived my life with Dharma on my side. And Bhishma raised his hands and he said, I bless you. I bless you. And Durjadan said, what is this? The commander-in-chief of my armies is blessing the enemy king who's coming to attack me? What nonsense! And Bhishma turned to Durjadan. He said, he bowed down. <laughs> Anytime you bow down, you get a blessing. You can't help it. If you would bow down to you to steer it, he would bless you. Every time you bow down, you get a blessing. So therefore, we bow down to the respected guru. With these scented flowers home, we bow to the respected guru. Let's worship Ramakrishna, who is the, the emblem of divinity for our lineage. Oh, to he who establishes the ideal of perfection, the intrinsic nature of all ideals, the manifestation of divinity that grants the chosen boon, to you, Ramakrishna, we bow. Om, we bow to the supreme divinity, this respected Ramakrishna, we bow, we bow. And I'm always reminded of that, that shloka uh, from Rig Veda, it says, Tvam Agni Pratamang Angirash Rishi Deva Deva Nama Bhava Siva Shaka. You Agni were foremost and amongst the first amongst the family of Angira which was the, the performers of tapasya of ancient times. You were a rishi, a deva, and deva nama bhava shiva saka. You're, you became, a, you, were, you performed tapasya, you became a rishi, you became a deity, and then your name became a symbol for de divinity everywhere, and you, you are the friend of Shiva. And it's so perfectly illustrated in the life of Ramakrishna, who was a man, historically. We know it. We have his photograph. And he did tapasya, and we know it. We have historical accounts of his tapasya. And he, he became a seer, and we know it because we, we, so many people were illuminated by him. And he became a, a deity. In fact, we have his image in our temple. And his name became a symbol for divinity everywhere. And we know it because we're in California. And where was he in Calcutta 150 years ago? If he could do it, so can we. And that's the point of the worship. We bow to the supreme divinity, the respected Ramakrishna. We bow, we bow. You please bless us. And when we bow to Ramakrishna, we want to bow to Sharada Devi. O oh, mother of the universe, the goddess who flows like the sea, considered as the supreme teacher to Ramakrishna. <laughs> Behind every man stands a woman telling him he was wrong every step of the way. <laughs> and that was his success. He, she drove him to success. You are the supreme teacher to Ramakrishna. We bow again and again to your respected lotus feet. Om to the respected goddess who flows like the sea. Sharada Devi, we bow, we bow. She's Sharada. She's, she's, she's just uh, like a Saravor. She's just got, oh, she embodies the an ocean of knowledge. Srima, we meditate on the eternal measurement of consciousness. We contemplate she who eliminates, illuminates wisdom. May that Srima grant us increase. Please. Swami, O Mahishashur, O great ego, literally the great ruler of duality. And if you want, you can substitute your own name, but that'll be your puja. This is my class, and we're going to worship the great ego in the form of Swami. 
O great warrior who causes all destruction and calamity, devotees make offering to you in the house of the gods. Please accept this worship and be pleased with me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Please, I'm making an offering to you. Please leave me alone. Be pleased with me. O oh, great ego, great warrior of duality, who even defeats Indra and the other gods, every one of them succumbs to egotism. O oh, king, you are being conveyed across by means of divine weapons. Go to heaven! I bow to you. Oh, I bow to the great ego. I don't need you anymore. You can go to heaven now. Anytime. The worship of the lion, the lion is Dharma. Oh, lion, of all the animals, you are the foremost and the greatest in strength. Oh, respected one, you are the vehicle of poverty. Give us boons, we bow to you. You are the seat of all existence. See, the divine mother sits on you. So you are the asan of all the existence. You, who, who else rides on a lion? Shining forth with various ornaments, even Mount Meru leans upon you and you need not obey him. We bow to the seat of the lion. Whose weapons of nails and teeth glisten like lightning to the great lion, cut the ego, purify, we bow. So remember in the battle, he had his, his nails and his teeth. He was biting them and whipping them with his tail. And uh, uh, he sent many Asuras uh, to heaven. Now we'll offer flowers to the auspicious of all auspiciousness, to the good, to the accomplisher of all objectives, to the source of refuge, to the mother of the three worlds, to the goddess who is rays of light, exposer of consciousness, we bow to you. Remember, you expose consciousness by making it perceivable to us. By limiting it in a form, you measure it. If there were no limitation, I would just perceive indefinitely infinitely. We have to have a measurement of consciousness, a measurement of a form, a boundary, in order to expose that there is consciousness. Because were it not for a form, how would I have a before the form and an after the form? How could there be a side to the form, or above or below? You are the eternal energy of creation, preservation, and destruction in all existence, that on which all qualities depend, that which limits all qualities, exposer of consciousness. We bow to you. For those who are devoted to you and take refuge in you, you save from all discomfort and unhappiness, all worry you take away, O goddess, Exposer of consciousness, we bow to you. And now let's bow down and bow some more. <laughs> Everyone, take a bow. The reliever of difficulties, exposer of goodness, cause of peace, infinite consciousness, beloved by knowers of consciousness, all the inhabitants of all the worlds always bow to her. And I am bowing to goodness herself. You can't perform any action without bowing to her. Every action is a bowing to her, whether you know it or not. Every movement, every vibration, every moment of friction is the respect to her. Our objective is to become conscious to remember that every activity that we perform is her respect. We're doing it for God. Welfare, radiant beauty, completely pure, without limitations, the ultimate limitation, the Lord of the universe, the mother of the universe, to you, Chandi. To the energy that tears apart thought, I bow in submission. Composed of all the gods 
removing all sickness and fear, Brahma, Maheshwar, and Vishnu bow down to her, and I always bow down to the energy of infinite goodness. The dwelling place of knowledge, residing in knowledge, resident in the place of divine illumination, the cause of union, the knower of union, to the energy that tears apart thought, we constantly bow down. And now there's another uh, uh, definition of vindhya. vindhya. Vindhya, it means, Vindhya is a name of mountain range which indicates knowledge which begets humility. Because remember Vindhya, he, he had a very interesting story. He did tremendous tapasya. He said uh, to Shiva, uh, I want to be taller than Mount Meru. And Shiva said, what would you want that for? And he said, well, I'm tired of being looked down upon. I want to be the tallest among mountains. Shiva said, tatastu. And Vindhya started to grow. And he started to grow so tall. Now, the sun was making his daily circumambulation of the earth, and he saw this huge mountain standing in his way. And he said, hey, Vidya, what are you doing? Get out of my way. I got to go around the earth. Vidya said, no, I got the boon. I can be taller than Meru, and I'm not moving. I'm not moving for anyone. Uh, sir, you got stuck. And then uh, nobody on earth knew what time it was. And they all stopped their yagyas. And the gods got weak. No one was feeding the gods. So then the gods got really scared. What happened? And they went to see. And they saw Vinya was taller than Meru. And the sun was stuck there and couldn't pass. What are we going to do? How are we going to make Bindya come down to his normal size? And they thought and meditated, and they all decided to go to Benares. And they went to the Benares, and in a cave on the side, on the bank of the Ganga, Augusta Muni was meditating. All the gods came to Augusta Muni's cave. Augusta bowed down with devotion. All the gods have come. What, what seva could I possibly do for you? The gods said, Bindya got the boon that he would be taller than Meru, and now the sun is stuck, and he can't pass to make his daily circumambulation of the earth, and nobody's making yagya, nobody's worshiping, and the gods are getting weak. You have to find a way to humble Vindya and make him lower himself. You have to destroy his pride. Augusta just said, Namaste, I am pleased and privileged to serve the gods. He took his asan and his komandel, and he started to walk. And he walked right up to the Vindhya mountains. And Vindhya said, Namaste, Augusta Muni has come to me. What seva can I do for you? And Augusta said, Vindhya, I'm on a pilgrimage to the south of India. And you have become so tall that I can't cross. Would you please lower yourself uh, just for a moment so I can pass and I'll, I, I'll, uh, I'll complete my pilgrimage? Uh, and Vindhya said, yes, I, I, I'm pleased to serve a rishi like you. And Augusta climbed uh, over Vindhya and he said, Oh, and, and please just stay there until I come back. <laughs> <laughs> so Augusta completed his pilgrimage and then became the greatest rishi of the south and never returned to Benares. <laughs> <laughs> so Vindhya means, it's, he, he, Vin comes from the root Vid to know, knowledge. And India also means uh, the, the knowledge which begets humility.
Uh, it was like um, 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 uh, Gan Sagar uh, it, it told us. Uh, he, he was known as the ocean of, of, of wisdom. He is Satya Vidya Binoy Pradhyate. The true wisdom, true knowledge communicates or conveys humility. So, uh, Bindya has another meaning as well as knowledge and humility, and that means the Bindu. Who resides in the Bindu is also Vindya. So here, uh, the dwelling place of the Bindu, that one point, the first spark of creation, the center of our yantra, the residing in the Bindu, resident in the place of divine illumination, the cause of union, the knower of union, to the energy that tears apart thought, we constantly bow. The mother of the supreme consciousness, the goddess who is the supreme consciousness, beloved by the supreme consciousness. We always bow to Durga, the reliever of difficulties, who takes aspirants across the difficult sea of objects and their relationships. Sansar Samudra. Sansar. Sara is the ocean of sun, all. Sun is all. All objects, all relationships between them, and there's this ocean of them. Look how the poetry is, is so magnificent. It's so expressive of where we are. Look out amongst the sansar, the ocean of objects and relationships. Om the great God, the great reliever, the great yogi, Om supreme Lord, O God who removes all sin in the form of the letter Ma which dissolves creation, we bow to you again and again. Oh, my bow to the consciousness of infinite goodness, to peace, to the cause of the three worlds. I offer to you the fullness of my soul, O oh, Supreme Lord. Oh, I bow to the consciousness of infinite goodness. Let's offer blessings. Om, you are blessed with the highest respect, with wealth, with life, with freedom from disease, and freedom to be the, the one with the greatness. One with the greatness. Define greatness and become one with it. With food, with wealth, with animals, and with many children, with a long life of a hundred years. May the meanings of the mantras be, bring excellent fruit, and may the journey of your mind be full and complete. May all enmity be removed from your intellect, and may friendship continually rise. Uh, any bad thoughts, any negative thoughts will just be dispelled and dispersed, and friendship and good thoughts and endearing thoughts will always pervade in your being. May you enjoy life, may you enjoy fame, children, grandchildren throughout the generations. May you all live without disease, with abundance of wealth, and may all your desires be fulfilled. And really, if there's one blessing I could communicate to all of you, this would be it. This is it. This is what I live to do. If I can share my love with you, and share my blessing with you. This is how I would define it. The blessing that I want to communicate to you all. Now we're going to remove the divine energy from the manifest and bring it back into the unmanifest. We're going to place it back into our hearts. Oh, thus the full and complete intelligence of the life force, the cause of dharma, the way of truth to perfection, the highest ideal of perfection has been given. Waking consciousness, dreaming or thinking consciousness, and consciousness in dream, deep, dreamless sleep, intuitive consciousness in which all thoughts are situated, every application of consciousness. All speech has been offered with folded hands, raised in respect while bowing to the lotus feet, that activity, that union, that memory, all that has been offered to the supreme divinity. I am one with God. 
And this is my offering. Every application of consciousness, dreaming, sleeping, or waking, uh, all my consciousness is offered in bowing. And I become one with that supreme divinity. All of me and all that belongs to me entirely, I surrender to the feet of the respected Chandika. She who tears apart thought that infinite, that is truth. Om, the Supreme Divinity makes the offering. The Supreme Divinity is the offering offered by the Supreme Divinity in the fire of the Supreme Divinity. By seeing the Supreme Divinity in all actions, one realizes that Supreme Divinity. Om, that is whole and perfect. Om, this is whole and perfect. From the perfect, Whole and perfect, the whole and perfect becomes manifest. If the whole and perfect issue forth from the whole and perfect, even still, only the whole and perfect remain. If you subtract zero from zero, what is the remainder? Zero. If you subtract the whole and the perfect from the whole and the perfect, only the whole and the perfect will remain. Om, peace, and peace, and peace, and please forgive me. If there were any errors or omissions, if there was anything lacking, joy, joy, truth, uh, 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 any, anything that was missing from my worship with my, or my devotion, please forgive me. Namaste. Do we have any questions? Swamiji, I have a question on page 340. Yes. And the first verse we speak of uh, surrender to the feet of the respected Chandika. Yes. Could you speak to the path that we can take to reach that state? Well, this is the path. Worship is the path. And making everything that we do in life is part of the worship. That's the path. This puja gives us a context to make worship as a way of life. And that's the path. By practicing formal worship, we understand the concept of informal worship. And then we strive for that sense of efficiency in every activity that we perform. And that becomes the path. We've described the, the, uh, the eight steps of spiritual behavior from inspiration, knowledge, practice, and utilizing our knowledge and understanding to make this world a better place to re reducing our necessity to act, coming into union. And then uh, after coming into union comes the behavior of perfection. These are uh, uh, different ways, different steps along the path. So this is how we achieve that surrender. Any other questions? Swamiji, so even you said that our objective is to become conscious, to remember when you were explaining the pranam. So this is the path for that too. Absolutely. To be as much as, as, we, much can as, as we can. can. As much as we can remember, we are conscious of the fact that it is a privilege to be embodied in a form with this understanding. What good karma our ancestors must have performed to, to pre, have prepared for us the, a way that we could enter into life and get a start in life so that we could come to this understanding to where we are today that what a privilege it is to be in an embodied form with this understanding. Swamiji, our viewers have some, they just sent some questions. Yes. Mm. One question uh, Kumari is asking is, I have heard that Srima is associated with Kamakya. Will Swamiji comment? She is the goddess of Kamakya. 
She is more than associated with Kamakya. She's the soul of Kamakya. And I want to tell a personal story, if you don't mind. Uh, one day, uh, Ma was walking towards uh, the boats. We were going to visit Umananda. Umananda is an island in the middle of the Brahmaputra. And a number of devotees were walking uh, across the sandy beach down to the boats uh, to take the boat ride to the island on which uh, stands a beautiful temple to Shiva. And the Brahmaputra is a great river and this temple is submerged about four months of the year underneath the water and then the other eight months of the year the, the water drains out and it, as it drains out uh, the, the island appears. It's like it's an amazing temple. Oh, we were walking maybe a, a, a dozen or more devotees with Sri Ma across the, the, the uh, sandy beach down to where the boats were uh, uh, docked and we came, uh, when we got about halfway across the beach, all the boatmen came running up across the sand and started bowing down to Ma in the sand and, and they, were, they were calling, uh, 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 Mago, Mago, Ashun, Ashun. And they were saying, Mother, you please come. Uh, and uh, she, she went, uh, she led us down to the boats and uh, there were a couple of passengers sitting in the boats uh, waiting for the boats to fill up so that the boat could leave. And the boatman said, uh, uh, ut, 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 ut. Get out of the boat! Get out of the boat! Make this empty! Shrima has come! So I, I was looking at this in astonishment because, you know, to get a rickshaw or a boat is really an attainment. And here they were clearing the boats. The Shrima has come. Uh, so we, we sat down in the boat, and uh, I, as the boatman was oaring, uh, he was rowing us towards the, the island, Umananda, uh, he, uh, I stuck a, a conversation with him, and I was speaking Bengali, he was answering in Assamese, and I had a, a friend, uh, Baithi, uh, was translating uh, where I got stuck. And he told a story of a day when the, there was a great storm on the, Brahm, on the Brahmaputra River, and uh, Sri Ma uh, was on the boat, on the steamer, uh, that goes be between Gohati uh, up the Brahmaputra, uh, Putra, and it goes uh, to uh, Jorhat and many other uh, 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 towns along the river because that was the easiest way of communication. Uh, was along the river. They don't have so many highways. Uh, so they take the steamer. You know, that was a, an accomplishment. And when the storm hit the steamer, all the passengers were terrified and started screaming because there was waves and rocking and the, the whole boat be, you know, was, they, everyone was afraid that the boat was going to go down and probably take them with it. And Sri Ma sat at the bow of the ship and started singing. And first, everybody looked at her like she was nuts. And then the wind calmed down and it stopped raining. And everybody sat down in a circle around her. And ever since then, she was known as the goddess of Kamakya. She became Sri Ma of Kamakya. They, they all revered her with, with such esteem. And this was told to me by a boatman uh, that I had never met and he had no need to impress me. We were going to pay the fare no matter what. <laughs> So that's Sri Ma's relation with Kamakya. She did tapasya there. She spent many years on the mountain. Kamakya is a mountain uh, on the edge of Gohati city, uh, and on the other side is the Brahmaputta River. And on the, there's the temple of Kamakya, and then there are several tirthas, uh, other temples for other goddesses. It's the 
just like Boishnab Devi is to North India, just like Minakshi Devi is to South India, Kamakya is to East India. Uh, it's the most prominent goddess temple in the region. And Sri Ma did tapasya there for many years. She was very well known and very highly regarded. So that's her, her relationship with Kamakya. Om Sang Sarasvati Namaha. Namaste.